It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Birds and the Buccaneers. All that and more coming up next. Still a bit warm here in Florida, but really all things considered, a wonderful fall afternoon for football here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Today we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, the vibe, a different one here in Tampa this year. This is year 1AB after Brady. What can they do to help soften the blow? I would say try and lean on the defense a little bit more. I think they'll play a lot better in 2023. We know how exotic they can be with how they get after the quarterback. Make sure they slow people down running the ball as well. Give this offense a chance to grow because they are under new management. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they made sure to lock up their signal caller in the offseason, Jalen Hurts, and probably a wise idea after he finished as a runner-up to Patrick Mahomes for league MVP. It certainly was a wise idea because now they have their signal caller for the foreseeable future. And think of the strides he's made since he entered the league. Everyone knew he could move it around with his legs, but boy, has he become accurate throwing the football. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback. But last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 23. They go with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams would take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Throwing his hurts. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. His throw incomplete. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air, it made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground. You just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play, nerves come into play, and despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. all the way down inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Swift going to try up the middle. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 
And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance that any attempt is gonna be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, they started the drive back to pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, end up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. The former number one overall pick has had his ups and downs in recent seasons, but he finished strong last year and inherits a really good offense in Tampa that should set him up for success. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first play sack, Makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now a third round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Get something get Let's go. Let's go. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And this is going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. 
They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. All the option to give to Swift here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave on the third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give me up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Second down, here's Hurts. Dallas Goddard, 31 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So the drive there took six plays, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. The drive starts with a run by White. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. 
and once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front, they moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They go play action, Mayfield. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. But forget the run on third and one, they shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Mayfield looks to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing, Mayfield. He completes it right side to White. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for loss yardage. This is White on the screen. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. to the main field goal. Here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Big strides. Look at him go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 
Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead is now 17-3. The drive there only spanning three plays, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. There he goes, left side. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big pickup of 38. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Mayfield on play action. He'll get that out to the flat to White. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Another catch by White, back-to-back -back plays. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. From the 24 now, here's a second and eight. To throw, Mayfield. Quick throw, finding Mike Evans. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 13 yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. White, he'll try the left side. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Ten more there and another first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. 
That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can... And he hooks it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Trey Palmer from three yards out. And the Bucs are back within a score. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And it's up through the goal post at 17-10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And out now come the Eagles. And they have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Quick slant here to Smith. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Throwing his hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash, dropped at the one. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. Now, that was a big run. It takes them all the way down to the one-yard line, and that'll shake the confidence of any defense. So when they're looking for a little bit of support now, looking at their defensive coordinator, if I'm him, I dial up some pressure. I just go after him. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Elliott good on the extra point, And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Baker Mayfield going to lead his offense back out there. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. Let's 
They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. Up past the 30, second down coming up. Now a second and six. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, Mayfield. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive. Here's Jake Camarda now. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The 71 yards on the ground here for Swift. He's got a first down as well. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 45-yard line. Play action. Here's Hertz. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. What was that one? Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Vita Vea breaking through to get the sack. Oh, you know, that did not feel good. Vita Vea with the sack there. And we know he's a big time presence on the defensive line, especially against the run. But he'll surprise you with his quickness and his upfield agility in order to get to the quarterback. If you're blocking him, it's going to be a long afternoon or evening, a tough proposition. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. Still second down. From the gun, here's Swift. Breaks a tackle, now an alley. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Caught the defense off guard there a bit on second and long, but now you still have to deal with third and long. Yeah, you do, but you feel pretty good about the last play, don't you? And maybe it gives you a little bit of confidence dialing up the next one that maybe your team will believe in it when you send it in. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 
25. Vita Vea. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start here with a handoff to White, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw taken in by Palmer. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. Here's third and three. Now Mayfield. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Here's Mayfield. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Here's second and 10. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Mayfield now. And that is incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done.
After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Boston Scott. And he gets this all the way down to the 20. What a return. Almost broke it for six. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. Maybe I go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get free, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now second and nine. Once again, it's Swift. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Hurts. Buying time to his left. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. two-minute mark in this first half of action. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. To the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. On first and ten, Mayfield. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Mayfield looks to throw. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Mayfield throw on target to Godwin here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And it's caught on the deflection. And this is going to be a touchdown. Well, that touchdown certainly helps. But they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. touchdown here's McLaughlin to kick off and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line the Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half and with a two score lead already they may just look to get this thing to the locker room Throw on first down with Hertz. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and six now. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. First down. Philadelphia. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Oh, 
Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This from 54 yards away. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Bucks' offense set to begin this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half, so make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps, but above all, play your game. A run to begin the second half with White, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll get this past the 20 as he gets about four. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Well, if they have any designs on getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return, and that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, They've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complimentary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. the handoff this is Swift and only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47 third and four
They go play action with Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Joe Tryon in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, and talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. Sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. A time to get another look at this Buccaneer offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 78 yards on the ground for him so far. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On second down, they'll run with White. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. That is caught. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. First down, here's White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Safety Reed Blankenship. He got in there and stopped him for a loss on the play. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mayfield now from the 50. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Fletcher Cox in there to get him for a loss of nine yards and that also leads to fourth down. Cox still one of the league's top defensive tackles and remains a huge presence. Seven sacks last year, adds another win to his career total there. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This will be fielded at the 17. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And they will take over first and 10. You don't see that too often, Charles. He punted that away and then hustled up to make the stop as well. Yeah, because oftentimes they serve as their own safety after punting it. You want to be the last guy, but he decided to get involved in the action, didn't he? And what a spark that's got to provide for the rest of his team when they see their punter out there making a nice hit. Let's go. 
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Nice run and some new digs for Swift, the biggest name to be dealt during this year's draft. Had some tough times in three years with the Lions, but the good news for him, he's now in Philadelphia and knows exactly how to get the most out of a versatile runner. First down, and they go with Swift again. And a solid run down inside the 30. 118 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Just a gain of a couple there. And now two yards to go on third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot. That a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. From the gun, it's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Buck 17-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. On second and goal, here's the option. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Swift, not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. Throwing his hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. Had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So he's got another field goal, his fourth now in the game. He's making it look easy out there. He certainly is, and they're always aiming for a swing of the leg that repeats under pressure, right? So nothing's different. He's got that right now because confidence is breeding confidence. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. So out come the Bucs now. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm OK with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Second down, Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mayfield to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. But first down, Hurts. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown. But when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Second down, here's Hurts. Quick slant to Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A.J. Brown, 46 yards. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Yeah, boy, Mike Evans, he's in some discomfort. So we're going to stop play here as they pay attention to him. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. to throw Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Mayfield. This is White on the screen. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 44 yard line. 23 yards on the play. So from Philadelphia territory now here's a first and 10 at the 44 yard line. Now Mayfield going to throw right side here complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Here's Mayfield. Out route, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Now second and three. Mayfield with it once more. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Trying to connect there with Rashad White out of the backfield. And it's third and short. Mayfield now. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it. This is White. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. 
So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third, unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and seven. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The Eagles on third down. Not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and five. On the option to give to Swift here. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 20. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, eight-yard return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out come the Bucs now. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. They'll start the drive with a give to White. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. There he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 53 yards. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Mayfield looks to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Palmer. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They run straight ahead here with White. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Mayfield on third and two. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone, touchdown Tampa Bay. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. 
Yeah, if you kept him out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on him. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away yeah i think here's the situation you're not thinking touchdowns anymore you're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball on first and ten it's hurts oh and this one incomplete the pressure got to him as he released it and it's second down when defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely gonna have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The attention shifting back to Chris Godwood and the rest of the Tampa offense. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Throwing Mayfield. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll look to throw. That is caught. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. A first down throw from Mayfield. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
Timing was just a bit off, and that can happen occasionally, even with these fine professionals in the NFL. But on those out routes, that requires precision, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Everyone has to be in sync from the time the quarterback hits his back foot and delivers the ball to the receiver turning to find it. Throwing again, Mayfield on second and 10. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. And again, it's Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Bucks first down as the defense... Nowhere to be found there. A gain of 20 on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. So the fourth down conversion has them inside the 40 now, first and 10. From the gun, Mayfield, right back to Chris Godwin. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he'll take this down to the 26. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Mayfield to throw it. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. From the 23, here's second and six. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now, that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A, zone coverage, knew where his man was in relation to the football at all times and made a nice play. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now second and four. Mayfield now on second down. have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah. yeah, you know, you got to feel right. Exactly. Following 
throwing the touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Second and six. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. straight ahead with Swift and that should do it he's got a first down and the Eagles they can run it out from here I like a guy who understands the situation I also like a guy who you look at him and you say that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say guess what you drop this one you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week <laughs> maybe flashback to high school or college carrying <laughs> it around campus right the old gauntlet drill right anyone get the ball out while he's while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach he's in big trouble Down to an ego's hurts, and that is going to be that. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout, but instead they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Tampa.